Hey guys, it's Ray. Um, I wanted to speak a little bit more about the whole, instead of the biracial, the interracial portion of everything that I say and why I don't personally do it or deal with it based on what I've dealt with before. Um, a lot of people will get upset and say that I'm trying to control other people and tell them what to do and love knows no color and all this other stereotypical bull crap. But um, when it comes down to it, a lot of people don't realize people who have parents of different nationalities, cultures, races like I do. Um, growing up as children, we have a better idea of the downside, more so than people who are just online talking to hear themselves talk, just based on the fact that they want to sound like a good person for saying that love knows no color, or they are in an interracial relationship or they want to be. Uh, when it comes to the interracial marriages, um, when it's a black man and a white woman, they are more than twice as likely to fail. And whenever it comes to the white man and the black woman, it has a higher survival rate. And that also has a lot to do with systemic racism and the fact that black men are a lot of people will say the stereotype or the um, propaganda that they hear about black men and say that they don't know how to take care of women or they're lazy, they don't want to work. But the fact of the matter is a black man with a degree is going to get hired and paid less than a white man with a criminal background and a high school diploma. There are studies on that. It's something that's easily available if you actually do the research. So with that being said, a white woman with a black man, it's not going to be something that white women are used to dealing with because they don't understand that black men are being paid less and it's going to be a lot harder for them to find a job even with college education and degrees. Um, that issue is not there whenever it comes to a black woman and a white man because they are paid more and hired more often and given more chances to be and do what they do. So. I just wanted to get on real quick before I have to head out and let people know there is a drastic difference in not only the treatment of interracial people, partners, um, mixed race people, but there is also that systemic racism, that natural colorism that happens and stems as a result of racism and then their sexism whenever it comes to the women and their pay and so on and so forth so it's at least something to consider if you do want to be or you're in a interracial relationship or plan on being married to someone of another race it is something that a lot of people will simply say well not me or my friends or whatever the case and we're not all alike and not all of us but as I say on a regular basis just like when white people say not all of us when it comes to racism the majority rules so you are more likely to fail in an interracial relationship than you are to flourish it is what it is if you want to take that chance then by all means I couldn't care less but at least do a little research and figure out the higher likelihood for what's going to happen. Same thing with single parent homes and mixed race people. There's a higher likelihood of drug addiction, um, depression, um, criminal charges and activity, so on and so forth. Uh, a lot of stuff a lot of people don't consider because they think only for themselves and about themselves, but they don't see the bigger picture and how even if they don't see something a certain way, that doesn't mean that that is going to change the fact of how the world works. So there you have it. A lot of people will tell me, well, you, I have people on Facebook, white women, little girls, sending me pictures of them and their black jiving cocoon inhabitant. But they don't realize that I don't have an issue with people doing what they do. I just like to bring up 
the reality of the situation that people are trying to ignore and deny and hide from. There's a lot of white people that'll say they're not racist, not all of us, but anytime you piss them off, you can't tell the difference between a Jill, a Bernie, or a Trump follower, period, supporter. Once you get people to the edge, you see their truth. Once you get people to the truth, you'll see how they react to it, whether they want to pretend it, it doesn't exist or get upset and claim not all of us, it doesn't matter. It's there, the information's there if you want it. You can make up all kinds of different excuses. I don't give a fuck.